going forward, if I can keep my garage warm enough. Oh, going going forward, like I said, if I can keep my garage warm enough to to spend some time out there to conduct experiments, uh, I want to be I want to be messing around with the plasma arc systems. And I also want to start looking at high voltage water fracture electrolysis uh, using using dry cell techniques and ways to um, fracture water. There's, there's a whole, but they all go back to the same fundamental physics behind behind it, it where where the technologies appear to be dissimilar. When you study them very very closely, you'll find that the roots are all they they all fall, come back to the same roots, and it might be you know zero point energy or the ether or whatever you want to call it, but it does appear to all stem from that that same source. Um, and have you really encountered that source? Um, this this mysterious yeah. source of energy. Zero, zero point? No, I have not. No. Although I think you've seen demonstrations of it in terms of, you know, the Bedini motor, the Gray motor, uh, the Mueller motor, um, as well as in, in the process of electrolysis and the, pla and the plasma arc systems. They all rely on, I believe, the same, the same fundamental physics behind, behind the energy source. And that's why I say, in the literal sense, there is no such thing as over-unity. But what we don't understand is the sea of energy that we live in and how to tap that energy that we live in and be able to use it to produce work, all right? Yes, sir. Uh, is there going to be a, a, a difference between a unit that's made for Florida hot weather and, and a unit that's going to be made for New York where it might Overnight. Or Nebraska, yeah. We yeah. already have it. It's just about changing the electrolytes. Or the humidity's different. I mean, do we, when you order something over the internet, what do we have to ask for? Do we have to tell them Where that one degrees don't grow in New York? You know? Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> that's a good point. Now, uh, in, in again. <coughs> Just looking at brute force electrolyzers, where you have you have water and a little bit of electrolyte in there. By adding the electrolyte, it does the same thing as putting antifreeze in your car, but to a lesser degree. Okay, so by adding the electrolyte, it does lower the freezing point and it does raise the boiling point to a degree, based on the molarity concentration of the electrolyte that you put in there, how how strong you make your solution. Uh, but that alone is not enough to rely on. If you live if you live up in Ontario or, or uh, you know, northern Nebraska or, or North Dakota, where they get, you know, a lot, very, very cold and for a very long time, you'd probably want to somehow preheat or, or uh, put a, a heat blanket on the cell to prevent it from freezing before it goes into use. Uh, there, there are a number of ways to do it. You can recirculate some of the radiator fluid from the engine through a copper coil around the outside of the shell with a, with a tight thermal coupling to the shell to keep it thawed out. Or you can get these, uh, like at Home Depot, they've got the, 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 the uh, AC cords that are actually pipe heaters to keep pipes from, from bursting. Take that, wrap it around the cell, tie it, tie it off, plug it into a hitching post like, like they do up in Canada with their, with their engine blocks. Uh, so there's, there's a number of ways to, to get around that problem. Um, actually, there's a man right there that has the answer. He came up with it and helped us with it. Well, the answer didn't came from me. The first time I heard of it came from water from gas. The solution was that when you're using baking soda and you have the, the coals and you have a freezing point, you would add a, a, a coffee spoon, uh, I think it was one or two in, in the book was of um, methanol or ethanol. Which is windshield wiper door. Which will evaporate eventually. It depends on how the cell runs, what temperatures. You know, but there is much more information from there that, uh, that uh, um, uh, someone someone explained that uh, you know that I think the team will be running tests on just to prove the, the fact. But so far, uh, my understanding from uh, um, all from his book 
is that you have two or one, you like to confirm that information, is one or two uh, uh, coffee spoons, not, not a measuring piece, but some per quart of, of water or something like that to keep it from freezing, something like that, if, if I'm correct. It wouldn't left for a while. It would evaporate the as right. long as the cell keeps a low temperature, you know, like we did a cell in an RV Freeman's car. And when we put the fuel cell in, the outside temperature was 88 degrees. The fuel cell temperature ran for an hour, and I ran it down the road, I beat the piss out of his car a little bit, just to heat it up a little bit, and the temperature never broke 85 degrees on the fuel cell. Yeah. Maybe this is a pretty dumb question, I mean, I don't understand what trolls is but you were talking about fracturing water. Have you ever used electromagnets to fracture water? Not directly. I, uh, and I'm not, even, I'm, I'm not sure that it will even, even aid in the process, but it's, it's something to look at, and it's on my to-do list. It yeah. does work in the tuning of the plates. That didn't sound good. Question, that YouTube video that they had in the car, and with that, that unit, that big box, you got I'm sure everybody oxygen and most oxygen. everybody's seen. Yep, yep. How, did, how does that work? I mean, if they, if they said it's going to run one hour for one liter at uh, 80 kilometers or 50 miles per, per hour. I don't know too much about it. I don't either. I've I watched totally a lot of his videos, and, you know, that's a man that his government's really, like, you know, putting him down in every form, shape, and form that he can. I think he also brought it to like the president of the country. No, 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 not that country. Oh, okay. The okay. one in Japan. But they're going to take it to a Japanese automaker to actually yeah. start producing it. I don't think it's, it's a small house. little. It's a small little car. Oh, that one they had in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, yeah big yeah, box. Yeah, yeah. I was, it, and they put it in with a little funnel, and then it, it, they run it. I know, but that's How does that like work? the secret that's what we're doing. Oh, I know. That's what I, we're I doing. Know. It's running on water. Yeah. And yeah. They're going to start producing. Do you have any idea how it works? I haven't seen it. And there's motorcycles too. Yeah. 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 Huh? What about the Volt? Yeah. What about the Volt? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want a Volt. Verizon <laughs> Fuel Technologies has got that out. And they also have a bicycle that will run off a hydrogen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the hydrogen motorcycle too. Yeah, yeah. they got really. Japan got a ride. Got the. I want one. Well, That's kind of like my KTM, wasn't it? It's fast. Yeah. Who wants to go to Japan? Who's going to pay for me to go? I'll go. What, what was that? Verizon Fuel? Horizon. 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 They put out that little blue car and they do a whole, they're, they're really big. They're out of the Philippines right now. But they're one of the leaders at Horizon. You know, I think it's just called Horizon. It's Horizon. Yeah. Yeah, I've looked at one of those bikes. As soon as it comes to the States, I'm getting one. Mm -hmm. And they also got the magnetic motors that. The and they're supposed to be affordable. Right. In, in Japan, they got a magnetic motorbike. Sir?